Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to try to make my sub pump water drinkable. So let's see if it'll work. Okay, so I am going to try to make it so I can pump my water out of my sub pump into some sort of filter uh, to make it drinkable just in case of a serious power outage situation where, you know, like the whole state goes out. So, you know, you turn on your tap and nothing happens because even the power uh, or even the, the, uh, the water treatment plants and stuff like that, everything that powers your water, everything that pumps it is down as well. So I've, I've always tried to think, you know, what could I do? Because I hate the fact that that water just pumps out into a drain out in my yard. And I would like to be able to utilize it because it's just so much water all the time. So here's what I'm going to do to make that water pump into some sort of filter. What I have is I have just a small fountain pump. Uh, it says that it can, it can push up to 13 feet uh, above the pump to, for, I guess, for water flow. Um, so here's what we're gonna be using. And it just comes with a 5521 female port right here. And so what I had to do was I bought a two pack of uh, 5521 male to male cables. And so I'll just be basically plugging this in and the other side is going to be plugged in to my EB3A over here. And that will make it so my pump will actually work. What it's going to do is I also bought, uh, what is this, 10 feet? 10 feet of, uh, looks like a quarter inch inner diameter uh, tubing to pump the water up into a water drop bag. Now, if anyone's ever seen a water drop, these are mainly used for like camping. And what you do is you just open this up and you scoop it in a stream or something like that and fill this thing up. And what it's called, it's called a, a gravity fed filter. So this will fill up with water and it's gonna be connected to a hose. This hose right here. And this hose will go into the water drop uh, filter. And this filter, I'm just gonna have it hanging down into like a gallon jug or something like that, maybe a half gallon jug, uh, just to see uh, what it will do. I've never tried this before. I don't even know if this little tiny pump will pump up as high as I need, but that's what this is all about, is just trying to test stuff. And if it doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll buy a bigger pump and, uh, and try to get it to work again. And all of this will be hooked onto my ceiling, like a, a, my, um, my rafters, I guess you could call them, my joists, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a woodworker, but just by a little eye hook right here. And also I got a, uh, um, it's like a water tester, so I'm gonna test the water that comes out of my faucet, and then I'm gonna test the water that's in the sub pump currently, and then we will test the water again uh, once it's filtered into a glass. So I'll get this all put together, and I'll let you know what happens. Looking good so far. And one side of this filter is where the hose goes in, and the other side is where you drink from. And this is, uh, you know, like a mouthpiece, but I believe this can be unscrewed, and it can just let it run right in. I think you could actually screw a, a standard bottle into this too, so. And what I'm planning on is having a container like on this step, and this is just gonna sit right in it or on top of it to be able to filter water in, but uh, we might have to change that as we go. And this pump does have like a little small screen right here where the intake is just to you know, make it so the big particles don't go in. Uh-oh. I don't know if I got the too small of a hose or what, but what I'm gonna try to do, I guess, I think I'm gonna try to heat this hose up a little bit so it's a little bit more pliable and press it in. Well, I forgot to hit record, but what I did was I heated it up with this heat gun for like 
10 seconds and then I just worked it on there and now and now it's perfect yeah that's on there real nice all right and during this test I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my sub pump so that way it's not constantly pumping the water out while I'm trying to pump it through the filter and I just need to make sure and plug it back in before I leave because that would be horrible. All right, so what I'm gonna do, okay, next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that this hose uh, will stay in the bag. I need to find like some sort of clip or uh, uh, something. So let me find that. And then all I gotta do is dip this into the water and plug it in to the EB3A. All right, and what I did was uh, I actually had this little tiny clamp for, you know, basically for like wiring and stuff, but it works good as a clamp and I just ran it through the hook and it's going into the bag about, and it's only going into the bag about that far. So let me run, let me run it some more. Okay, so that's in there. Like I said, there is 10 feet of hose, so I'm gonna drop this down into the water and then plug it in and see if it starts pumping. All right, the pump's in the water. Let's go ahead and connect the uh, 5521 cables. And let's go ahead and turn on the EB3A. And then we're gonna uh, close, the, close the line on here so the water won't just start pouring out. There we go, so it's pinched. So the water will stay in the bag. Cause we'll wanna fill up the bag about probably at least halfway before we actually start doing it so the gravity can do all the job. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, look at that, it's already pumping up and the bag the bag is filling up. That is awesome. That pump, that little tiny pump worked great. Look at that, it's only been about 15 seconds since already, I don't know, it's already a fifth of the way full. It'll fill up this bag in about a minute. Okay, well it took about a minute and a half and it is almost to the 1.5 gallons max mark. So that is perfect. So I'm gonna go and grab a container and uh, we're gonna go ahead and let the filter do its work. And then we're gonna try this water out. After we try it out, we're gonna go ahead and test it. Actually, I'm gonna test it first to see what the difference is between just regular water, the water that's in the sub pump right now, and the water that comes out of the filter. Okay, and what I'm gonna be using to test this water is this TDS tester. You know, I got this online, I think it was like I don't know, it was under $15. It's nothing, nothing fancy, but what it does is it measures how many parts per million are in your water. Um, I believe the FDA says that anything under 400 is safe to drink, uh, as long as it doesn't have like a bunch of oil or something like that in it. So what we're gonna do is test out our tap water first and see what the number says. And we're just gonna fill it up and turn it on, put it in, press hold. And look at that, it is, I don't know if you can read that, but it says 317 parts per million. So uh, it's a little bit higher than I thought it would be, but it's safe to drink, so that's fine. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and grab some water straight out of the sub pump to see what the parts per million are for that. Okay. Go ahead and turn this off and turn it back on. Shake it off. Okay. And unbelievably, uh, the parts per million from right out of the sub pump is 333 parts per million. So that actually says that this is telling me I could drink it straight from the for straight from the sub pump, but um, I don't know if I'd really want to do that. So let's go ahead and get this, uh, this water drop filter working, 
fill up this pitcher and uh, and then we'll measure that. All right, so all I should really need to do is release this clip and it should start pouring filtered water into this pitcher. So let's go ahead and try it. And it's going pretty slow, actually. All right, but it's putting, it's putting filtered water into the pitcher. So I'll let you know how long it takes to fill. All right, well, this pitcher is full. It's a half gallon pitcher, which is, uh, you know, two quarts. And it took about five minutes to fill this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use the life straw to just fill up this glass. And then I'm gonna rinse it out and then fill it up again. See, and, and the water flow is actually a lot faster now than it was when I first started it. All right, kind of shake that around, dump it back in. And let's go ahead and fill up a glass. Okay. All right, now let's test the filtered water. All right, and the filter has dropped it down to 260 parts per million. So I would say that works pretty well. It reduced it by what, uh, almost 100 parts per million? But I feel like no matter how dirty this uh, sub pump water is, um, using this little system, I'll be able to have fresh drinking water um, no matter what. And the best part about it is that it's completely automatic. All I need to do is just turn on my EB3A and it starts pumping water right back into my bag to fill it back up within a minute. And I can just constantly get fresh water. So if you have any questions about how I did all this, um, please leave them in the comments. Um, I will, I'll have a link to everything that I bought on Amazon uh, in the description. The best part about this is this whole system, I think I got everything that is, can, is here except for the power station, which you don't even need. It's just easier for me. I got it all for like oh, a little bit over $50. So, uh, you know, I would say that's a pretty good deal for, for having fresh drinking water. And this, uh, this water drop, I believe it can do, uh, it can filter up to a thousand gallons before it needs to be replaced. So um, that's, even, that's even better. A thousand gallons of fresh water for, uh, for, you know, for those times that you really need it. Okay, thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, and I almost forgot. Cheers. Wow, you know, it just tastes like fresh water. That's awesome. It tastes just like water. No sediment, no smell, no nothing, just water.